In this video, uh, I'm going to show how I create a certificate generator and scheduling through the Power Apps Canvas app. So uh, over here we have a basic Canvas app, and then uh, I have two buttons here. I'm going to show this generate and send certificates through Excel sheet. So uh, to navigate to a button, uh, to another page, uh, we use the button and then make sure this says on select and then you can type here so it's like a function so uh, type navigate and certificate excel sheet so this certificate excel sheet would be the page that i created here which is this and uh, you can click new screen to create a new page and then you can rename it by clicking the three dots here so if i click rename then you can rename it to whatever you want <coughs> so uh, let's go back to home again and then uh, just a shortcut to click on because if you click here now uh, you just you just edit so you you just edit so you can actually click but uh, you can hold alternate and then you can click into the page so to check that it's working so now that we navigated to this certificate excel sheet uh, i have a <coughs> few buttons here so i have one for 6 pm and one for 9 pm and then a preview buttons as well so this one this this excel sheet will actually uh, call a function called launch so launch uh, then this launch would open the excel sheet they have prepared so that uh, I make sure that they open the same excel sheet every time so if I click launch you automatically open the excel sheet and then uh, over here uh, this excel sheet would have the student name email and class dates and course names filled up so basically what this does is uh, people can fill up the information here as long as they want uh, as, as long as a list as they want and then at 6 p.m uh, the certificates will be automatically generated and sent so how were these certificates generated and sent uh, that is through power automate so we go to power automate my flows and then schedule certificate emails for 6 p.m so okay let's go to edit So okay, so as you can see here, the trigger I have is recurrence, recurrence running at six p.m. every day. So every day, it will start by reading off the list from the this six p.m. certificate name list, which is the Excel sheet here. And then now we'll do apply to each. So apply to each is uh, basically like your programming uh. <coughs> for loop so for all the rows for all the values in this from this uh action i will take the training name uh and i'll count the length of the training name and why we i want to count the length of the training name uh, i'll talk about it later so length of training name course name and length of course name so basically is to get the, the these two lengths and why i want the two lengths is because uh i have different <coughs> i have different um course names and different training names and uh if the course names or training names are too long it might mess up the template so i need to make sure that i give i provide the correct font size for the for the uh templates so to do this i actually made four different templates uh, which you can see here in inputs so there is four different templates here certificate through training long cost long training long cost short training short cost long and training short cost short so based on these four templates and based on the length of the the my training name and cost name uh, i will decide on which template to use so the first condition that i will be checking so this is a if if statement so the first condition i'll be checking the is the length of my training name so if my length of training name is greater than 41 uh, if, if it's greater than 41 and the length of the course name is greater than 41 i will populate the oops sorry i will populate the training training long course long for uh for template and uh if if the training name is long and the course name is short i will populate training long course short so same for the other two 
uh, I'll just show you. So if no and if yes, uh, so here will be training short cost long, and here will be training short cost short. So after this, uh, basically what what will happen after that is all the same. So I will just show one. Okay, just close all this so it doesn't lag. <coughs> okay. So okay, so let's show if yes. Uh I will populate the Microsoft Word template. So um the Microsoft Word template has my four my three fields here, cost name, student name, and date. So I'll just assign it with the dynamic values from the Excel file, from the Excel row. And then I will create a file uh, in output. So uh I'll just dynamically assign the name and then the body, I'll choose the body that is generated from this populate from Microsoft Word template. And then once I generated this file, uh, I can use this action called convert word document to PDF. To so I choose the file the file path from this created word word document to be converted to PDF, and then I can create the PDF file as well in the same directory. I put it in the same directory and then use the body from this action. And once I have done all of that, I can uh, assign I can create the actual email that I need to send. So, uh, dynamically assign the email from the Excel sheet, Excel row, and then dynamically assign the cost name, student name, and cost name, and then uh, I would attach the the files. So cost name, this is the file name that I want to attach, and then the body, which is from uh here as well, convert the document to PDF, and then uh finally after all that uh conditions and just close this i would delete whichever row that would that is done in the apply to each so that um whatever that is sent out will be deleted and then uh nothing will be double sent in the next day in case uh nobody checks the list or nobody uh in case nobody checks the list yeah so uh, let's just so let's just go through the flow one more time so at 6 p.m every day uh i would list the rows for each in the table and then in each table i will get the length of the training name length of the course name and for each of the rows i will have a condition where depending on the length of the training name and course name i will select the template and then email the trainee and then after that i will delete the row so that is it for the for the flow and I will press save. So uh, now that it's saved, uh, okay, so now that it's saved, I can. Uh, so this this flow actually is uh, the same as um, one of the other flows that I have, which is uh, here, but this is a. Uh, manually activated flow so the preview so this is this flow would be from here so if you can see here i can actually run the generate certificate preview 6 pm which is the same as this name generate certificates preview 6 pm is the same exact flow except it's not scheduled it's triggered uh from uh <coughs> clicking this button and there is no email sent and then to add this into your Power Apps, uh, you need to go to here, Power Automate, and then Add Flow. And then when you click Add Flow, uh, you can search for your flow, uh, or it will show up here depending on uh, the update. And then after that, I also launch the the folder here. So this this launch would actually also take me to uh not this folder. Let's go back. You will go to the Outlook folder where I can see all the send file as well as the preview. So as you can see here, this was the preview that was run previously. So if I click in, <coughs> I can see what the certificate looks like uh, before it's sent so that I can verify that every all the certificates are okay for the day.